Aries, how you doing guys? So we're here to do your November 1st to the 15th for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. How you doing Aries? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus from the 1st until the 15th of November. Hasn't the time flied? Times fly. Times fly. Fly, flying. Flying high. Birds flying high. You know how I feel. Someone knows how you feel, Aries. Queen of Cups, someone definitely knows how you feel and you know how they feel about you. This person sees you as someone that would take them in and take them and give them shelter. Is also what I'm hearing, that they would give them shelter and take them out from anything of dark periods in their life and that you would give them shelter and you would take them in. Some of you could be looking into shelter, into like uh, taking... Uh, moving probably in with another family, but you would take this person in or they would take you in from the cold... Um, and picking up grey, like grey, is also like some people might be worrying about going grey slightly or ageing slightly. But it might be moving away from a grandmother for some of you, where you're moving away from a grandmother or you're trying to accept an offer from a grandmother. Um, so some of you might be looking into your heritage of your family tree, but I'm picking up something to do with accepting an offer that a grandmother might play a very big role in your life altogether. Um, because you've got the Queen of Coins, the Queen of Cups and the Queens of Coins. You've got two Queens, two Queens. So you might be um, experiencing a lot to do with someone to do with your family that's of a higher importance, okay, that they're, they're supportive, that very supportive of you, that's like a mother or a grandmother or a grandfather or a mother, that, or it could be you that's very supportive of your children, but very supportive of your love partner too. But I feel like there's some sort of merging of a business or so, merging, where you might be looking into doing a business together to do with health as well. But if it's not health, it would just generally be a, a business that's uh, fresh today for sale. So something's for sale today. So you might be putting something up on the market, is also what I'm hearing. Like, uh, if you did lose a grandmother or a grandfather or something like that, if it, it does go down those lines, you might be, or they might be, they might still be in your life, sorry, but I'm kind of... But putting something up on the market, so it might be an actual sale of a house, but I'm also picking up like a lemonade stall, like a lemonade stall, up on, like trying to sell something and put it up on the market. So whatever you're concentrated in on business, I think you're trying to market yourself quite well because it would be someone that's pro possibly older in your life or you're older in their life, but whatever it is, this person sees a great opportunity with you that you would be a great supportive energy for them with love and also to do with like the home life of a business that could be started to create together. But there's like a togetherness that seems to be forming where there's a lot learned through uh, retrograde also that's happening during this period that your monthly should be out. Um, and you're learning more about uh, money and finances. Some of you could be going to business school or studying something to do with business and finances and falling in love with it. Now, if you meet someone and you haven't, you could well meet them at a business that you run or own or a school, if you're at school or going back to school or something, that you could well meet this person or did meet this person there. It's kind of like there. Now, if you go to a party or anything of family in Toriated, you could also meet this person. But two queens, it could be the same sex, but I'm picking that more up to do with, like, the, the, there's a person that's of great of importance in your life that is either a mother or father or grandfather or mother. It's a bit, I'm also hearing, like, a grandfather clock. Like a grandfather clock. Because I don't know why I keep picking up through this, but it's kind of like time's ticking, so we've got to get on with this business. The Queen of Cups, the energy of what I'm hearing is like time's ticking, time's ticking, and we need to promote ourselves and we need to get ourselves out there. There might be some kind of promotion of work that you're saying, okay, so in order to get this business and this finances in order, we need to start promoting ourselves well by product by product and product value and valuing the Valuing the relationship also of the of the relationship that you're in. Something rising in Venus, please continue on this reading for every something rising in Venus. Okay, so you've got the tower that's appearing. So something seems to be of like this is it, trying to stand out, really trying to put your promote your business very well. 
Um, but you've got something that has to be let go of first, which is also like an old business, an old business. This is a fear and an anxiety that something's not going to quite turn out as well as you thought. Okay, so if I haven't showed you these cards, Aries, that's the Queen of Cups, okay? It's the Queen of Coins, okay? And you've got the star, the star. Some people try to take a handout, also is what I'm hearing, okay, and the tower. But um, a handout, someone's, tr someone's got their hand out as if they need help and need support, and that you're trying your best, or they're trying their best to support you in this. That's an Aquarian energy also. Um, so there seems to be, because some of you could be in the black, meaning like these both cards here are black, right? As if like, uh, like you know, in credit cards, in credit, as in debt, because this can be debt paid off in society. But I'm picking up like in the black, meaning like you might uh, be giving someone support because either one, they're moving home and you're going to take them in or they're taking you in. Or something also to do with financial debt where someone might be in the black. I think that, I think that goes into, I don't know, I've never really been in debt, but um, in the black, that's, that's a saying, right, in the black? Um, but, we, we, but it would still be like in the red. Um, so some of you might be seeking, uh, what do you call it? Like self-employment, but you know, uh, bankruptcy. Thank you, bankruptcy. But if that's not, that might have something to do with where one business is not going quite as well as what you thought because there seems to be a lot of chaos around it. So if you're moving from one place to another, it might mean that one house is kind of like, uh, so it might be a grandmother's house, I'm kind of hearing, that isn't as stable as what you thought, okay, but then someone else is going to take you in. You know, it's kind of like if there's a friend or someone around and it's not quite going in, like, they want to move from it because there's a lot of chaos under their house or under their roof. And there seems to be, like, a lot of stress of something that someone's going through, okay? You might be giving them or them giving you a handout and saying, well, you can come and stay with me. You know, you can come and stay with me. And here it is. And then it's moving in. But then there might be an also business that seems to be happening also, like a business venture and a business project at the same time as a house move or a financial move. There seems to be a lot of messages coming through. Uh, because this is where you just don't really know what's going to happen. It's kind of like, I don't know what's going to happen from one day to the next. I've got no idea what's going to happen from one day to the next. And people need our support and people want our help and they're, they're willing to pay stuff and they're willing to kind of like give you that helping hand or we're willing to give them that helping hand and we're there to support everybody but it don't seem to be turning out quite as much as money as what we thought or it don't seem to be turning, people don't seem to be turning up. You know, it's like a turn up, turn over kind of thing. It's like roll up, roll up, roll over. Like, roll up, roll up, roll up, you know. This, uh, there's another song. But, um, it's kind of like someone's being turned, turning over a new leaf as well. Like, someone might appear back into your life that is trying to turn over a new leaf for some of you. Um, but I'm picking that up like a page of, um, a new page, meaning like a new... It's like new and old kind of thing. It's like, well, I've got something new and something that I love and something that I'm passionate about that brings in the money. And people, this, cause, cause this can be like a shop that someone owns, right? Like a shop that sells things. Doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be fruit and veg. But a shop that someone sells a lot of stuff in, okay? Um, stuffing, sorry, <laughs> that was a pun and a half, right? Someone that sells a lot of stuffing, <laughs> right? But they sell a lot of stuff in there. And they deal with the general public and they kind of give that over and they, they help them in the best way that they possibly can. And then they give a, a good hand out. But it's kind of like someone always in your environment also that probably always wants a handout. But this could be someone that has that much information where they just want to know someone's business all the time. It's kind of like, you always need to know what my business is. Why is it that you want to know every little minute piece of information that I have 
Why is it that you always want to know that? Because every time I give you that information, you just want more and more and more and more. There is that also, that feeling as well. This can be someone where you don't want to tell them certain things about your life and some things are private and that when you do, you get into an argument because they want to know too much and you think, well, you're always in my business. But that could also be like an actual general business or in your business of stuff that you just want to keep private to yourself, you know. There's, there's some kind of privacy, privacy as well of someone's house that might be where they're being feared of being watched or something or like a privacy someone's privacy but that would also be like family where there might be a lot of family where there's phallic stuff going on under the roof right uh, and that uh, someone wants privacy it's like i just want some privacy so these might be external things that are going on around the tower which is your life of everybody that's in it and that um, you might just be seeking some privacy alone time with your partner and that you have that alone time with your partner but there just seems to be someone that interferes with your energy interferes with your energy now that might just be on a small level where there are a lot of family involved and you just kind of like i just want some privacy but there also might be someone very dynamic also in your life that interferes with your energy and you're like oh for god's sake would you why do you always want to know every little minute detail that i'm trying to give or tell you and then when i do you probably use it against me and we get into an argument so it doesn't get resolved you know there's like a resolving dissolving kind of energy floating around there might be news that's, because the tower to me is news, right? The news of something that might be ending um, or beginning. And it's like also, it's like, well, we're out there in the public and it's all out there in the public and we're getting on like a house on fire of our relationship. But there's something also to do with public announcements and public stuff that goes out publicly that someone's afraid of someone knowing their business as well seems to be going on. Now, it might mean a general business, but it might also mean like the stuff that you want to keep private to yourself and that you're worried that someone's going to know what your business is. And if that is still the same person here, if it's not related to different things that are going on with you, Sag, uh, sorry, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Aries, um, then that could be like a mother that might be a mother or grandmother or grandfather that is in your life and you love them, but or they love you, but you just see them as someone that can be controlled, that have some kind of control thing about them that they just want to know your business and they want to know what you're doing and they keep tabs on you. And you're like, well, I love you, but I wish you would just mind your own business, you know, as well. That kind of thing is happening. But that would be, uh, like I said, someone that's older than you. Or this could be you, and this could be you telling them that just stay out my business. But there's an argument that seems to be there about that, generally. So we're going to draw one more card, Aries, and see what's going to be happening through this period, which is obviously the f 1st to the 15th of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Continue on this story, please, and give me one more card, please, for... I do apologise about my dog and we stick at the door. <laughs> there you go. So someone really is worried about what's going to happen to this ending of something. <clears throat> this is like someone fears that they're going to be stabbed in the back, or like it's just like I just can't. I just don't know which way to turn. It's like I'm. I don't know whether I trust you or whether I don't about this ending. It might be that something you know that you really want to do and that you love to do with work for a start. Okay. And that, but you know that it's not quite going in the direction of quite where it's really fulfilling as as yet. But it's kind of like, well, we've got to keep doing it and we've got to keep going. Because we love it, but we just have to keep doing it. But we just don't... People might be feeling like someone's going to stab them in the back or like that, they, or it's going to end. Like there's going to be... It's like a fear of something ending and not quite going right in the in the direction that you really want it to. But then it's kind of like, well, shall we continue to do this or not? You know, there's more of a teetering energy of, look, do we really want to continue this? If it's not drawing in as much as what this energy is, is here, and I don't know whether to give this one business up and concentrate more on the other. I don't know whether to, to move or not because but this could be them there could also be an energy around you of where you're supporting them and your partner wants to move in with you and this could be something that they're going through that is ending in their environmental energy of friends family or a job or anything 
and it's ending in their life and they're having to now come to terms the fact that whatever cycle it is in their life that they've been playing out is now a part of like a part of the old and now there's the new you know is a part of the old and a part of the new here so this can also be your partner that's going and experiencing an ending of something to do with like flatmates or or something these are people that live in apartment buildings so it can be like flatmates or or uh, uh, someone that they've been living with okay and they've been living with them and it's ended or something's going on that's just not quite working out right for them okay and that it's coming to a conclusive part of an ending and then you realize that they might be here and it's going backwards that they're going through that and then you're going to give them or they're going to give you a helping hand and say well look you can come over to my place you can come and actually stay with me if you want you know and there it is your hand is reached out and they accept that offer and it's a bit like well that deal is sold and sealed so there's a deal that's going to be sealed and sold for some of you selling one and buying another or something or a house or a home or the partner is going to be going through something where they're going to be giving that up and they're going to be coming to you and you're going to be saying okay you know you can come in and I'll support you with love and and I'll take you in you know I'll take you in and I'll take you on some of you this can be new people that you could meet after a separation of something here if you're looking into new because the ten of blades is like new tower can be new new and old but it's written this way you see the stars is everything that is destined to actually happen as an event okay and there's an event so you might be setting up events of businesses that this would be like a business deal and a transaction that could be going down as well as like a transactional deal where you do things for people but you take on contracts because these are contracts that are set for you not just in the stars but set for you you've got them grounded down as a as a deal of something that you do for a career and that you are very helping people come to terms with things as well so this can be someone that is losing in your environment that you're supporting to come to terms with like an old divorce or a, or a, something that they've got to move out from a home or something so that can also be your children or family members that are going through something of traumatic times and that you're a great support for them and that you're telling them okay well you can actually move back in with us you know if your children have moved out you might be saying to them well you can come and move back in with us or it goes the other direction which is you're going to have to leave or they are just leaving and you're kind of like I don't know what I'm going to do without you as well you know there is that feeling but I think that whoever that is they're experiencing maybe some kind of night terrors for some as well that's why I'm kind of picking it up of of a children activity of energy that someone's going through night terrors because they've just experienced like a, a bad ending in something this is what can be that the other part and if you're of them a partner or this can be anybody a child that's going through something where they're going through night terrors and dreams because of things that are ending in their environment and they don't know how to come to terms with it and that you're a big support for them and then it seems to be happening here where you're helping them or guiding them or they are you or you're all doing it together as a team as a family and you might just be generally going through this all together all of you where you're all experiencing life in general of dynamics but also love of care and affection so you've got like energy around you that seems to be moving and shaking you know shaking some of you this could be an earthquake as well as also what i heard depends where you live never really experienced them here touch wood uh in britain uh well you know <laughs> but um yeah like an earthquake like um yeah it's a feel like something's moving under the ground it, it, it's like something's underground as well so it could be like a basement as well like i'm hearing like a basement a basement some of you might ask someone to stay in your basement or there is something in your basement what is that <laughs> something in your basement if it's not it's a project that's kind of like underground where you've got it as an idea of what you want to do and a lot of you this can be awakening 
where you're going to get some kind of messages that that will slowly come through but someone's trying to come to terms with what those messages are exactly about because you're open now for being freshly awoken here this is freshly awoken and this is freshly awoken so some of you might have just found the channel and you're freshly awoken if not then you're going through that period of time of trying to come to terms with the fact that that something in life has to change you have to keep up with the times some people that are older they can't keep up with the times you know they just don't you know i've got family members like that you can't keep up with the times it's just not there it's not it's just part of family karma but they can't keep up with the times because they, they realize well why is everybody changing and that don't believe in the same things i do you know it was because it's just i have fresh new ideas and fresh outlook and we just don't click some of you just don't click with a, a mother or father or grandfather or something or they don't you or something but you don't click with them because they don't catch up with the times as quickly it's kind of like they want to know things all the time all the time all the time but then it seems like someone's not a very supportive energy of somebody because it's like well i give you all this information i give you all this information about everything that's going on in my life but it seems like someone has fear of them using it against them it's like a for and against of foreign foreign stuff as well foreign but also um like for and against it's like well are you for me or against me it's like i give you this information and but you want to know a bloody lot of it and every time i give you it it just seems to cause like a when we talk we argue all the time because you want to know stuff that i want to keep private this is like a bank of privacy you know they might want to know about your sex life and things like that and you're like excuse me <laughs> why do you want to know about that i'm old enough to be able to say or do what i want so why do you want to know about that that you know there's like an interfering energy of that for some of you um but drawing this around to a conclusion of um i mean if this is same sex stuff you might be going through a lot of like um what do you call it? You know, coming out and, and telling people and saying, you know, this relationship is going on and that people might be afraid of what uh, parents might say or what society might believe in and all that poppycock, you know. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, guys? I think there might be someone that might be watching that worries about that kind of thing and that they might be worrying about what family members or society might see or do or something or that it wasn't it wasn't quite well received by a family member that you are thinking about or have already told that news and you don't quite know how they're going to take it or they didn't quite take it as well as what you thought but we don't know yet okay Ari, so that's your first until your 15th of november we are now going to clarify these cards to give me a deeper vision and use different cards to find out what all this is going to come into fruition and what's going to happen. I'll still try to separate the energy to do with love, career, work, family and all the dynamics that I've hopefully picked up for YouTube. This will give me a broader picture and a spectrum of what it's really about and what's going to happen through, through this period. Okay. Still as you're always, it will be over on Patreon. If you want to join Patreon, the link is below. All my readings just go straight to Patreon. You can have access to all of the readings there. If you want a personal reading, you can reach out from the link below as the uh, email is there. Um, and anything else, um, I'm supposed to come up with another recommended reader and I haven't had time to look, so I do apologise at the moment. So please make sure you watch your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus because I will tr hopefully try to do that. But if you want to look over on the uh, recommended reader uh, discussion page, the last two for last month were also um, Organic Gem Tarot and Adia Shai, which is an astrologer. But if you want to go over to the discussion page and have a look and leave somebody, please make sure that you pay it forward and go over to those uh, webs, uh, those pages, so tarot readers or astrologers, and say that I said hi. But leave a name if you want, and that I will give them a shout out, hopefully, if I remember. But I do apologise, but I haven't had time to, in order to look at people's requests. Uh, but I will do that for the rest of the month, okay? All right, guys, and we'll hopefully see you over on Patreon. And uh, thank you very much, and I'll see you again soon. Peace, guys.